weevilly coin. Cast this blight into the fire. Rotten apples. Put an end to these once and for all. A locust. Make it burn. child is unclean. No! It is misshapen, diseased. An abomination. He has done nothing wrong! You know the ritual. All that is unclean we give up to the flame. Sawin is for the common good. It is to ensure our health and well-being. No, please! Please! Can you pass it to him, please? What? He's a pacifier. He can't reach it. Neither can I. Hello, Earth to Nikki. Kate's been trying to get your attention for five minutes. Five minutes? Dad, I doubt it was five minutes. Oh, now you're arguing. Arguing is not helpful. I'm not arguing. When I look at you, you're arguing about arguing. Nikki, we're supposed to be having a great time. Oh, sorry to disappoint you. Huh? What did I miss? Nothing. Just another gripping parental lecture. Oh, now take a look at that. That's got opportunity written all over it. Dad, come on. You can't even find this place on a GPS. That's why they call it opportunity, Nikki. 
vision means seeing something before it's there. It means dreaming of a better future. I thought you told me to live in the here and the now. Isn't that what you're always saying? Well, I can't win with you. Actually, Nikki, I'd like you to do both. Hey, isn't there a ski resort around here or something? That's Brooks Bank. It's on the other side of the mountain. The side that made it into this millennium. Uh -huh. <laughs> you just watch. After I'm finished, the boutiques and bistros of Hollow Glen are gonna make Brooks Bank seem totally passe, and then the luxury condos will come up, and we are gonna be rich. Yeah, well, you might want to run that past Nathan when he gets older and see how he feels about spending the rest of eternity in Hollow Glen. not till tomorrow, right? Oh, I'll be fine. Besides, I like to see you in action. Did I tell you that I love you today? No. Then I'm a bad husband. The worst. <laughs> Well, hi. We were, uh, <laughs> we rented a cabin at the end of Willow Road, and uh, I can't seem to find it. Willow Road, you say? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Girls, I thought you said you had to go to the bathroom. Surely do, Dad. Come on, straight back here. Sorry about that. Neil Penkins. Sheriff Dan Milgreen, how'd you do? I'm fine, thank you. You'll want to head to the general store and hit your right. Go up the mountain road about three miles, take the first left you see. That's Willow Road. Thank you. You renting the Holmes house? Uh, uh well, yeah. how'd you know? Well, there ain't but one cabin on Willow Road. It's right at the end there. Oh, well, look at that. Isn't he beautiful? What's his name? Nathan. Nathan, really? Yeah. <laughs> Let me guess. Oh, it's six months? Uh, yeah, exactly. Wow. Fine looking boy. Thank you. Those are your girls, too. Well, one of them. The other is her best friend. Quite an age difference between your daughter and your son. Second family, second chances, you know. Second chances. I'd say they're pretty darn important. He's such a good boy. Good for you. No. Oh, no, 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 you're not supposed to be here. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. I'm sorry. Didn't you warn him? I'm sorry, folks, pay no attention. Come on, Charlie, time to hit the trail. There's a curse on this town. Now, yeah, Charlie, stop embarrassing yourself. There's demons here. Now, that's it, come on. Don't take no tomorrow's Halloween. Enough of this nonsense. Don't pay him no mind. Probably just needs a drink. Well, uh, please thank the sheriff for all his help. That'll be easy, seeing how he's my husband. Oh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Be seeing ya. I don't know what's worse, the quaint or the creepy. Is it just a small town, Nikki? Show a little compassion, sweetheart. The guy's obviously homeless. Or he's an alcoholic or a drug addict or he's bipolar. There's a reason people act that way. How about demonic possession? <laughs> Get out of here. 
This can only get better. <laughs> That looks broken. This light's out. So, uh, we build a fire and change the lights. Vision, okay? Cheers, Dad. What do we do about reception? We appreciate the peace. I'm so glad I convinced you to come. Oh, whatever. It's better than sitting at home watching my dad play video games with my stupid brother. When real life sucks this bad, bring on the virtual. Hey, how bad has it been? Really, scale of one to ten. You really want to know? Since mom died, it's been about a solid nine. You know, it's always there, though, always. I'm never good enough for my dad. Oh, well, then you wouldn't want to live with us. Why? Because it wouldn't be any different. Hey, who's that? Oh, no. What? The golf pro. Your dad has a golf pro? No, <laughs> no that's what my mom used to call him. That's Owen. She hated him. What's he doing here? So, are you ready to do this? Meetings confirmed. Lunch and bees, 1230 tomorrow. Nice work. Yeah, it's amazing the way this, ah, this whole thing just, just suddenly turned around, huh? <laughs> Tell me about it. I mean, for years, they rejected every proposal. Yeah, it's the recession. I'm telling you, soften them up a bit. Everybody's hurting right now. Well, it could be. Might be something else. Like what? Who knows? So many variables. Well, oh, tomorrow we gotta ask the tough questions. Which we will. All right, and if the offer's right, then we close this deal and we become giants among men. You're still taking that testosterone supplement, right? It's a night, bro. Do you wanna come in? No, no, I'm good, I'm good. I got stuff to do, give my best to Kate. Okay, all right, all right. We'll catch you tomorrow, right? Huh? It's good, man. Positive. now? Well, yes, as a matter of fact. But I thought you promised Mom that you're never going to work with him again. That was uh, a long time ago. Things change. Yep, yep, they sure have. Mom's gone, you're remarried, and I seem to be the only one who cares about anything she said. Oh, hey, 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 Nikki. Honey, slow down. What's wrong? Did seeing Owen make you think about your mother? I don't need him to help me think about her. I think about her every single day. I'm gonna go check on her. What just happened? She's 17. She misses her mom. Want to go for a walk? Yeah. I don't understand why he'd go back and work with Owen when my mom specifically asked him not to. I don't know why you care so much. You know, Nick, I remember you telling me that your mom specifically asked you to do something, too. What? When you told me that she... She asked you to take care of your dad. Whoa, whose side are you on? I'm on yours. Come on, you know that. I'm just also on the side of your family. Take it from me, you got a pretty good one. Ugh, stop being so mature. <laughs> All 
Okay, last to see it, I promise. Let's go to some fun. <laughs> Um, do you think we should turn back? I really don't want to bump into that old drunk guy. <laughs> Not without a cross and some holy water, anyway. Hallucination, which means it's time for me to drive. Yeah, no argument there. Hang on a sec. with Owen. So what are your plans? I don't know. There's just so many options. It's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> well, if you're really stuck for ideas, you could go into town and get some more diapers and wipes. Can we take the car? No, but you could take the bikes. Just be back by noon. Brooks Bank is like 20 miles away from here. I'm at Hollow Glen. Oh, come on. That place is a freak show. Your father's right. You really do have an overactive imagination. What did you say? It's not what I said, Nikki. Come on, Nick, we can make it fun. See, at least Cammie doesn't think it's such a terrible idea. Well, she's obviously not afflicted with an overactive imagination. I am so. I need the car for Nathan. It's as simple as that in case there's an emergency. It's always about Nathan, isn't it? 
Nathan, Dad, you. But never me. Come on, Cam, time to take the Hollow Glen thrill ride. You know that's not what Cam, I meant. Wait! I just meant. I told you you regret this trip. Well, I'm going to prove you so wrong. No blood, no bodies. Probably a prank. A couple of Brooks Bank kids out for a joyride. Yeah, most likely. There's one thing, though, uh, Sheriff. Empty baby seat in the back there. Yeah, so? Well, you know what day it is. <sighs> Don't go soft on me, Perry. No, oh, no, just, uh, just saying. This is your first Halloween here. Yes, yes, sir, it is. And, uh, you know, I just heard some stories about, uh... About missing kids and a monster in the night? Yeah. <laughs> As long those lines, yeah. Yeah, well, they're stories, plain and simple. Look, the last thing I need is a copycat criminal or a superstitious deputy. Now, I'll check with the DMV, see who owns the vehicle. You keep an eye out for yahoos or anyone else looks up to no good. Hmm? Yes, sir. Thirsty? You need a drink? Well, yeah, I could use a drink, but we, we came for some baby stuff, just some diapers. You have a baby with you? With you? Uh, the, at the cabin, yeah. No, oh, no, 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 no. It, it's okay, it's okay, he's not sick or anything. Leave Hollow Glen before it's too late. <gasps> Seriously? Do you think we should start taking the hint? No doubt. Mickey Pankins? Kyle? <laughs> Nikki, what's up? It's been a while, huh? Kyle, be Kyle. Have you been talking about me? <laughs> what are you doing here? Just looking for trouble. Hey, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to her. She's on meds. I am not. But I probably should be. <laughs> <laughs> what are you what are you guys doing here? Uh, we just came to get some stuff for my baby brother, but um. The place is closed, so. Yeah, yeah, this place shuts down on Halloween. It's really weird. It's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so, uh, where are you going to college? I'm actually taking a year off. I'm just house-sitting my, uh, my uncle's place in Brooks Bank. House-sitting? Yeah, yeah, uh, Matt's up for the weekend, and we just got the place to ourselves. Cool. Hey, well, if, if you want, we can go to Brooks Bank and get those things you needed. Sounds good, but... I have to be back right away, so. Well, where are you staying? Uh, we're staying in uh, Hollow Glen, just a, a cabin off Willow Road, I think. Willow Road? No way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why? What's the deal? Well, I don't know. There's <laughs> just some freaky legend got started up that way, so. 
My sister knows the whole crazy story. It's about a bonfire ring at the top of Willow Road. Creepy. No doubt. This place is so loony. <laughs> well, we're meeting up with her later, and she's probably going to hear all about it if you guys want to join. Mm-hmm. Place is empty. May as well come on in. Not too many folks for you to upset, except me. I'll be on my best behavior, B. I, I promise. A lot of good that'll do me. I can see myself getting upset already. <laughs> I always like your coffee, B. You like it so much, you douse it with whiskey every time I turn my back. You can hardly keep a secret in this town. You do what you gotta do. We all cope the best we can. How do you cope, B? What do you mean? You know what I mean, B. Knowing about the curse. You just best take that flask and that brew right on out of here. I swear, I don't know why I bother you coming in here every Halloween haunting us like a ghost. Oh, B, you know, you more than anybody else, you should know that we gotta find a way to end it. How? You know there ain't no way. Yes, there is, B. There's a way. See, a while back, I, I found something that I've been searching a long time for. And I know what to do now to end it. Lord well, Almighty, you really are crazy. You get on out of here now, you hear? I ain't crazy, B. You gotta believe me, please. Not another word! I'm done listening to you. I'm done talking to you. Ain't we got a responsibility, B? That we do. And I'll be tending to my own. Kate asked you to be here at noon. Well, it took longer than we thought, Dad. I'm sorry. We tried to reach you on your cell. Really? It never rang. Price you pay for paradise. This is no joke, Nick. And we have to go, and you're supposed to be watching Nathan. What? Why? Because we have a business lunch, and somebody needs to be with him. Why can't Kate do it? She's coming with me. Well, can't you just take him with you? No, Nikki, we can't. It's a business lunch. <laughs> Can we have a second? Who are they? Friends who gave us a ride. Well, they can't stay here unsupervised. Unsupervised? Daddy, I'm 17. I can hang out with boys, can't I? <laughs> not here and not while you're alone. Oh, my God, are you serious? Look, you want adult privileges? You need to show me some responsibility. You knew there was going to be some babysitting while you were here. You know, if you never had Nathan, I would have a completely different life. Mr. Pinkins, I'm Kyle Waters. I believe you know my father. Oh, this is my friend, Matt. Hello. You're Franklin Waters, son. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for giving the girls a ride. But uh, we have to go, so why don't you come by tomorrow for a little lunch? How about that? Uh, sure, sure, yeah. Uh, thanks, Mr. Pinkins. I just bring him with us. I mean, she's not in a good frame of mind to watch him right now, anyway. No, no, no. 
Adrian's head, plus uh, my good luck charm. It'll be good for Nikki. Okay. I'll get my person. Fun, huh? Ooh, I know. We can watch Nathan sleep all day. Good idea, Nikki. At least there's no static. Yeah. What's that about? Did your parents forget something? They have a key. Is someone messing with us? If they are, they're gonna get this poker up their butt. You totally deserve that. I'm really happy to see you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, uh, this is my older sister, Jane. That's Cammie and Nikki. Happy Halloween. Oh. Yeah, happy Halloween. We brought you some diapers. Oh, you went all the way to Brooks Bank to get diapers? Well, we had to pick up Jane, and we wanted to save your dad a trip to, you know, prove we're not psychos. That's pretty nice. Yeah, well, maybe it makes up for us being here when we kind of shouldn't be. Yeah, maybe. And since we're already doing something we shouldn't be, you want to go check out the Halloween bonfire? Uh, yeah, I, I can't. I'm sorry. Hold on one second, guys. We'll be right back. Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? <laughs> Everywhere. Cam, you know I can't go. Come on, Nick, please. Matt and I have a connection. You hit him with a fire poker. I know. OK, so are we going to make the best out of this weekend or what? You heard my dad. I have to watch Nathan. Plus, Matt's sister's here. Isn't that kind of weird? Not at all. Look, she said it's not very far away, so why don't we take the baby monitor? And if it starts to get fuzzy, we'll just come back. That's a terrible idea. Well, if you can't go, can I go at least? Well, that sucks. Just don't make them leave. They can tell us the story here. Outside? Fine, whatever. Fine. <laughs> Cafe's closed. What? Not only that, hardware store, gas stations closed. The entire town is closed. It's nuts. This is Halloween. It's like the, the, the one of the biggest holidays of the year, and, and it's lights out. You want to know why? Brace yourself. <laughs> it's cursed! The curse of Hollow Glen began a long, long time ago with the sacrifice of an innocent. Not my baby, please! <laughs> There's a curse on the, on the whole town! I'm not kidding you, when I did my due diligence, okay? I went into, I talked to some of the locals here, and, uh, and there's, there was a curse put on this whole place. A poor little baby that the villagers believed was an evil spirit. All that is unclean, we give up to the flame. He has done nothing wrong. So was your due diligence uh, talking with some crazy looking guy named Charlie? You talked to him too, huh? In a twisted ritual, they tossed the baby into a bonfire they made every Halloween to purge the town of evil things. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wouldn't be swayed by the ramblings of a drunk. The remains of the bonfire still exist today. Right through there. No way. Yes way. 
No, I'm not swayed. Like, I'm a businessman. There's nothing gonna get in the way of me and a good deal. It made me think, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. They wanted to purge the town of evil by tossing a baby into a bonfire? I mean, isn't that a little... Totally messed up? Yeah, but what do you want? It was a couple hundred years ago. They were clueless. Okay, maybe it's, it's one of the reasons why nobody's ever developed around here, right? Everybody's all freaked out. They also didn't know that the baby's mom was a witch. He's got a point. Local superstition can sway away business. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh is right. And she was pissed. Before anybody could stop her, she called upon the powers of darkness to raise a foul-smelling demon out from the baby's bones. So the farmer has a, a, a two-headed calf and, and everybody has to eat pickles for a week. To this day, no baby in Hollow Glen is safe when the sun rises on Halloween. Not till the spell is broken the following sun up. I mean, they're, they're, they're wacko, right? Well, let's hope that's a good thing. I mean, for us. The hours in between, so they say, is when the goblin is on the prowl. Oh my god, Nathan! Nikki. relief. <sighs> Sorry, I kind of freaked out a little, didn't I? Oh, that's okay, we all did. I was, just, I was so scared after hearing that story, you know? I, <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I'm here now, so it's all right. Uh-huh. My hero. That's more like it. Yeah. You may need a diaper change. So. Hold on. This is something I've been wanting to do. So I take it Nathan's okay? Yep. Yep, he's good. Fine. All good. We'll be downstairs. <clears throat> hey, Sheriff. Sorry I'm late, folks. Mr. Penkins, I didn't know you were part of this gathering. Sheriff, you remember my wife, Kate? Hello again. Hi. I didn't know you were a member of the Chamber of Commerce. Well, in a little town, a man's got to wear a lot of hats. <laughs> Come on in. Is that nice and please, soft? Can you please not? I take good care of you. Embarrassing. I'm embarrassing, embarrassing you? Good. I'm trying to embarrass you. Say what you're saying. Are you serious? That's more like it. I've been like a good Halloween story to put you in the mood. Yeah, I know what you mean. How about a fire? Yeah, but we'll need some firewood then. Okay, well, I'm gonna go outside and get some. Um, Cammy, did you wanna help? Mm-hmm, I'm good at finding wood. Be cool, right? You guys are some funny, loud, be courteous, all kind of stuff. Small town folk, they like that kind of thing. Okay, I'll let you do the laughing. Certain advantages to being married to the owner of the town eatery. <laughs> Makes a handy conference room. So, Sheriff, can you tell us anything about the town curse? <laughs> You're referring to Charlie, aren't you? He's quite a quite a spectacle. Not exactly. Why is the town closed on Halloween? What's that about? Ah, uh, it's just an old tradition dating back to the days when the town elders celebrated Sawin, a festival of the dead, just stuck over the years is all. There you go, nice and hot. So there's no curse. <laughs> Only if you think being stuck in the wrong century is a curse. 
and I'm doing what I can to lift that one. So, have you finished high school? Uh, yeah, last year. What about you? No, I can't wait to graduate. <laughs> so, do you live in Brooksbank? Um, half the year. Dad works for the Forest Service, so. So, is he like a park ranger? Uh, kind of. He works in administration. So, you must be an expert in the outdoors. <clears throat> Hardly. You must be an expert in all sorts of things. Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, what did you have in mind? You know, the basics. Like starting a fire. I already know you're really good at that. <laughs> you are so hot. Careful, you might get burned. <laughs> Did you see something? I don't know. Jane? Is that you? Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> you smell that? Yeah, what is it? <sighs> okay, something's out there. <sighs> That's awesome, dude. You're... He's you're the man. He's totally screwing with us. <laughs> wow, well, dude, I totally just guess. <laughs> that sounds like Cammy. It sounds like Matt. Don't fall for it. You think it's a joke? If you knew my brother, then you know it was a joke. That's what Halloween's all about. It's like April Fools. <laughs> We're getting punked. It's gonna be happening all day. Okay, I'll take up the challenge, and I bet I win. Win what? Best scare. Amateurs. <laughs> What if something really is the matter? Well, then Jane's gonna find out pretty quickly. <laughs> Aren't you at all concerned? I'm more worried about you than I am about Cammy and Matt. Why? <laughs> because, Nikki, I, <clears throat> I know what happened to your mom. I know what you had to go through. I haven't seen you since it happened. Hey, hey. Come here, come here. Maybe I should be scared of you. Everything's gonna be okay. You better not be saying all this just to get some action, because that'd be pretty lame. <laughs> I, I better go check on Nathan. You know, you're a really good sister. And I'm not just saying that to get some action. Sheriff, what'd you think of the proposal? I liked it. Well thought out, well presented, good plan. And, uh, what did everyone else think? <laughs> Gentlemen, like I said before, this town don't like change. Hell, B and I are still trying to fit in. We've been living here for over a dozen years now. <laughs> So, there were issues. Well, that's a, a nice way of putting it. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. You, you said that if this town didn't open itself up to development, that the town would die. That's right. I said that. Yeah, you said that. You also said that, uh, that it was all very promising. Yes, I did. You urged me to uh, invite up Neil and his family to come up here and, and meet with you. Son. Developing Hollow Glen is not gonna happen overnight. Now, if I put that into your head, I'm sorry. It, it'll be a process. Is the offer too low? It's not about the money. Yeah, it's always about the money. How much, how much are we talking about? How much more? How much? Son, if you it's really okay. think that, 
You don't know a lot about people. for coming and let's keep talking. Look, I don't care what that guy said in there. It's all about the money. Were you and I at different meetings? What? What do you mean? It means she... You need to start listening to people. Oh. Look, Neil, come on. It's a game, man. Oldest one in the book. He was testing us and we failed. All right, we come up with just a little extra scratch and we can lock this baby down. It's easy for you to say it's not your money. Never was. Yeah. What do you think, Kate? I think he's not saying something. It makes me nervous. Because he's playing us. Neil, behind the aw shucks act, this guy is an operator. I'm telling you, we double the offer and we lock it down. We nail this thing today. I'll think about it. Good. I'll take that as a yes. All right, so I'm going to crack open that bottle of champagne I was saving to celebrate our new real estate empire. <laughs> right? That's good. I'll catch you guys later. You were right, the sheriff's hiding something. But you know something? I just realized something today. What? I can't stand Owen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took you long enough. Uh, well, say goodbye to Hollow Glen, because <laughs> we are out of here. Is he OK? Yeah, still sleeping. He's oh, a good sleeper. For now. More lucky. You think you're gonna get lucky or something? It's just nice to be with you. You smell nice. <laughs> Stop being so charming. I just keep thinking this like a Halloween prank or something. Uh, have you heard from the others yet? Oh, well, yeah. I think they're giving us some time alone. What time is it? Just a little past two. Has two. Oh, no, 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 you gotta go. I just don't have the energy for another fight with my dad. Just go find Cam, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. They should have been back by now. And if you weren't so busy sniffing my hair, you'd know I'm right about that. <laughs>
You heard screams. You ran outside and followed them into the woods. Then, Nikki, you ran back here and found Nathan missing? And you ran back here when you heard her scream? Right. So you couldn't have been out of the house for more than a minute or so, that about right? Maybe less. Someone must have been watching the house or something. What if it was one of Kyle's friends? Or Cammy? And what if this was just a poorly considered Halloween gag taken way too far? They feel terrible about it, but don't know how to end it. I mean, that's it, isn't it? They're just scared. They want to bring him back, but don't know how. Nikki, tell them we won't be mad. If they just bring him back, we'll forget any of this ever happened. Cammy didn't take Nathan. How do you know? Kyle, if you know anything about this, you need to tell us Calm right now. There, don't hold back. Calm, Calm down. down. I'll handle this. If there's anything he's hiding, we'll find out at the station. They may have the baby at the girl's parents' house or somewhere in Brooks Bank. Those don't pan out, I'll contact the county, organize a search. We didn't do anything. Don't. Dig yourself a hole, young man. What if it was the goblin? I'm sorry? The baby stealer. What are you talking about? This really is a prank, isn't it? No, I mean, it all fits with the story. I know this is a small town and all, but I will not be party to discussing fairy tales in the context of a missing person's investigation. <clears throat> Copycat. Deputy, take the boy to the station. I'll meet you there. Let's go. Now. We had nothing to do with this. I don't, even, I don't understand why you guys aren't searching in the woods. I mean, Cam sounded hurt. She may be dying. You guys didn't hear the screams, okay? They were real. Simplest explanation is usually the truth. I'll get back to you if it's more complicated. Be in touch. Thank you, sir. Goblin? Dad, Jake told us a story about a Halloween creature that steals babies. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I mean, it's Nikki, don't so weird. torture us, please. I'm not! Okay, I'm just as upset about this as you guys are. How could you be? You're not his mother. Dad, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. I know you are, honey. But I need your help to make this right. How? mentions missing babies doesn't mean there's a goblin or a curse oh my god the sheriff had a son that went missing on halloween too why didn't he say anything where are you going i'm gonna go in the woods check for cammy you two look out for each other nikki i'm so sorry i should have listened to you I just want to get my...
Don't be stupid. I know you are. Harry, talk to me. What's your 20? Over? Sheriff, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I may have found our company. I got something I want to show you. It's okay, don't worry, we're safe here. Sit down. Have your seat. Sit down, son. Your partner. I, I drink. So what was that thing? You heard the stories? About the goblin? What do you think? I think whatever that thing is, it has my little brother. And if it had your brother, it wouldn't still be chasing you. It smells your brother on you, and it's still on the hunt. So who has him, then? I don't know. But I got a good idea where to start. Bee's place. I'll help you find him. If you'll help me do something. Anything. Help me kill the goblin? Okay. 
How do we kill it? Magic. So, so what, you have like a wand or a broomstick or something? you get this? She was my great, great, great grandmother. The witch of Hollow Glen? Yeah, she's family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I ain't gonna turn you into toads or anything. I ain't got no power myself. It was a horrible thing that they done to her and her baby. And she struck back out of anger and vengeance. But years later, she realized what a horrible thing she'd done. And she'd come back to Hollow Glen to put an end to it. But she died before she could finish it. But she left that. And this. This herself. It's a, it's a charred branch from the original fire, and this here's some of her hair. All of her power is in this, and we have to plunge it into the heart of the goblin. How do you know that'll work? Well, I don't know for sure, but. Bullets don't kill it. It slows it down a little bit, maybe. But it's a spirit. This is our only hope. You ever tried this before? A while back, but I, I lost my nerve and been trying to get it back ever since. That's why I drink. But I can't do it alone. Nobody can. And that's why I need your help. Okay. Okay. Let's go. There's no way that thing can follow us. Brooks Bank! We've got a full tank of gas. We, we can go anywhere. We just left him there! I don't know where my dad is. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay, give him a place, and I'll take you there. But I have to find Nathan. I have to find my dad. We don't know where they are, okay? If we don't leave, that thing is going to get us. I have to find my brother, okay? Okay. I'm going to get you through this. I promise. I promise. Okay. Charlie said something about Bee's place. I don't know what that meant, but he seems to know what he's talking about. Maybe we should just go there. Okay. He used to be a nurse. She'll know what to do. Go, 
joke is wrong, okay? There's no one here. It's okay. It's okay. No. It's like everyone knows or something. What do you mean? This place closes down for Halloween. It's just... Two creepy women at the convenience store only warned me after they found out about Nathan. Everyone knows they're just trying to protect people. Think about Charlie. Look at me and the sheriff. This happened to them and their child. They just don't want it to happen to anyone else. If they know that, they might know more. They might know, they might know where, where Nathan is. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hey, it's Neil. I'm here. I'll leave a message. Is anyone here? Dad? Dad? Um, Dad, the Goblin story is real. I know it sounds crazy, but something happened. It broke into the window and Kate's... And then Kate's dead. I don't know. Hello? So don't go thinking you got everything figured right. stupidity. I want answers. What are you talking about? I want the truth. Talk! What do you want to know? Why did you bring us here? You want the truth. I want to know everything! Big misunderstanding, you gotta believe me. You must listen to him, Mr. Pankins! It's a big mistake, Deputy. I'm telling you, these are bad people, Deputy. Bad people. Good work, Deputy. Thank you, Sheriff. Lost the coffee cat in the woods. What's going on here? Looks like our copycat killer made his way straight to us. What? You heard me. Copycat serial killer. We've been looking for you a so, long time. I killed my wife, huh? I kidnapped my son. Are right, you deputy, hearing this, deputy? You can holster your weapon. Looks like we have the situation well under control. Never really do know about people these are. That's right. You never do. What's that? 
The baby crying sheriff? It's my son, Nathan. Isn't it, Sheriff? You better keep your mouth shut, son. You're in enough trouble as it is. Sheriff, is that true? Sheriff? Mr. Pinkins, we need your baby. She can make a deal. She wants to try and trade your son to the goblin so she can get hers back. What are you talking about? The goblin keeps the baby's souls in the spirit world and slowly feeds on them like a, like a spider. That's what they want to do with Nathan. But this will kill it. But we gotta get it right in his heart. And we gotta go do it right now. Where's this all going down? Only place it could, where it all started. Come to us. Come to us, tortured spirit. Goblin! We have what you want! You know how to use this? We should probably split up and come at it from different directions. It might help to confuse them. Okay, we'll go this way.
Nikki, Nikki. We gotta go, Dad. We gotta go. Kyle! We saw what happened. This thing works. You're wasting time. We need to go. What about that kid? Or that ghost or whatever that thing was? I, I think there's more of them inside that thing. I'm not endangering my children. You don't have to. I can do this myself. No, you can't. You remember what Charlie said. What? He said I can't do this alone. I don't think anyone can. All right, come on, in the house. Let's go. Okay, so he wants Nathan, so Nikki, I need you to wait right here, okay, so he can see you. Kyle, I want you to wait right here. And when I give you the word, I want you to take Nikki and Nathan out of here, okay, son? Give me the spear. All right. I'm entrusting you with the lives of my children, you understand? Yes, sir. We're bait after all, eh, buddy? I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, I promise. Come on, let's just get this over with. I can smell him. He's close. Nikki. Do you see anything? Thank <laughs> you. 